What up guys, so today's video is gonna be a super basic white belt video. I'm gonna show you guys that are new to jiu-jitsu that are getting into this, the difference between a key lock or Americana, sometimes called a paintbrush, and a Kimura, right? Again, I'll tell you about how to set them up, how to use them, but also the differences between them. And again, this video is for some of you guys that wanna use them, but maybe you're sort of overwhelmed by all the terminology and stuff that is in jiu-jitsu. Hopefully this video will help make a little bit more sense to you. First one, key lock. The key lock is gonna be with the hand up like this. You can think of it this way. And this is sometimes called an Americana. The reason why it's called an Americana, from what I understand, is that Holes Gracie was rolling with Bob, I believe it was Bob Anderson, and Bob was using this technique, and so Holes named it after him, and us in Jiu Jitsu, we call it the Americana, after an American wrestler. A lot of the names in Jiu Jitsu, some of them, will be from people, right? The Kimura is the same way, we'll talk about that in a second. So, with this one, we get in and we have the hand, so if you look at my arms, my arm closest to his head grabs the wrist. My arm closest to his leg scoops up underneath of his arm and then grabs my own wrist. Now, the big mistake that a lot of people make in jiu-jitsu that are new, I made this one a lot, is when they try to finish this, they lift up and they crank, right? And if the person has a reasonable amount of flexibility in the shoulder, this will just not work. Matt has fairly tight shoulders, right? But again, this still is not working. What you wanna do instead is you wanna keep this down nice and low, and you wanna focus on wrist motion here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is once I get this down, I would have my head down, I'm keeping it upright so you guys can hear me and so I can talk to you and look at you through the camera. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll both wrists, I'm gonna pull everything in tight, and when I finish, I'm gonna try to pull his elbow down to his hip and we can get that tight. At the same time, I would have my head down nice and low and I'm pulling in. The tighter this angle is, the shorter range of motion that we have. One more detail that a lot of people mess up is if they get into this position somehow, we'll try to crank. There are some exceptions to this. There are some ways to finish it this way, but for your most basic submission, when you're gonna finish this key lock, we wanna make sure we do not have the head in the lock. Our elbow goes right next to the neck to isolate, roll the wrist, get the finish. Now let's take a look at the Kimura. The Kimura, in contrast, will have the palm down, right? Now, where does the name for the Kimura come from? Well, there's a famous judoka, Masahiko Kimura. Uh, he defeated Elio Gracie back in the day, and this is the technique that he used, right? The, the, the Kimura, it was one of his famous techniques. Uh, there's a Japanese name that some jiu-jitsu practitioners will use. I like Kimura, I like uh, paying homage to it, and it's, a, it's stuck with me ever since I learned it. Now, the way this one works, it's also called a double wrist lock in some cases. I'm gonna grab the wrist, go underneath and grab my own wrist. This time, with the key lock, it was my the arm closest to the head. This time, it's gonna be the arm closest to the leg that's grabbing the wrist. My palm goes down underneath, and I grab my own wrist. This one is gonna be a shoulder lock as well, and we're gonna be going the opposite direction. Now, when we do this, there are a lot of ways to finish this. I can step over his head from this position and lift, and again, similar to the key lock, the sharper the angle, the less range of motion we need. So if I'm out like this, there's a lot of play. If I can get Matt's hand back here behind, see he's already tapping, so if I can get his hand behind his back, very little is needed. So when you get this, if we lift up, we wanna get this arm very tight and it's ready to finish. Another common way to finish this that you'll see a lot is by once we get here, pulling this person up to the side and finishing here. Not always the best, but it's not a bad position, especially for new people. And again, the idea is we pull away, up, and when we put it behind the person's back, we then begin to turn and finish. So guys, that is the key lock, the Americana, paintbrush sometimes it's called, and the Kimura. They can be done from a lot of different positions. I was showing you basically from side control, but again, you can set them up from mount, you can set them up from other places. There's even reverse variations that can be done from the back. Um, but again, if you're new to jiu-jitsu, hopefully that'll help you make sense of what these two things are, and maybe give you a couple details on how to finish them. So hopefully this helps you guys. Talk to you next time.